Welcome or welcome back to Whitney Alex Works recaps of Bachelor Nation content. This time I'm recapping The Bachelor's Australia Season 11 Episode 6. Alright, let's get started. With a new week starting, right away we begin with each Aussie bachelor picking a single date for an intimate cooking date. Luke decides to pick Ellie, Wes decides to pick Jade, and Ben decides to pick Amelia. All these women who were picked have something in common, and that is this is their second one-on-one -on -one date of the season. But before everyone leaves, Ben catches up with Angela, who he just had a great single date with last episode, and she she thanks him for sending her a beautiful bouquet of flowers. So each couple has a cooking date where afterward they plan to join the other couples and have a group dinner. Luke and Ellie spend more time together after Ellie has decided to only pursue Luke, which let's be honest, these two have pure chemistry where they cook together and share romantic moments. Meanwhile, Ben and Amelia are on their second date where they are also in the kitchen, but soon a surprise knock startles them. It's a huge bouquet of flowers that comes to the door and both of them are confused as to whom it could be from. And we soon find out the flowers were from Angela, only returning the favor to Ben. But this romantic gesture has made Amelia upset as she voices that what Angela did was unacceptable. Ben is trying to comfort Amelia as these flowers are really causing a scene and Amelia wants these flowers flowers gone. Meanwhile, Wes and Jade are on their second date and Wes is cooking while Jade questions him on how far he has gone, knowing that he has already said he is a virgin. Wes admits that he only made out with a woman, but then Wes takes this opportunity to share his first kiss with Jade. With the cooking dates finished, the three couples meet up to enjoy a group dinner together and have to share some questions about themselves and each other. Luke admits that he secretly read fantasy books growing up and Jade confesses that she is a huge video game nerd. Amelia also opens up and says that she really wants a loving relationship and stability in her life. But when Wes has a question directed at him about intimacy, he answers that he wants to wait to get married before one, moving in together, and two, having sex. Jade is conflicted as she voices that she isn't on the same page with Wes about about these important relationship details, so there might be some conflict with these two on how they want to live their lives. But after the group dinner date, Amelia and Ben sit down and reflect on their time together, where Amelia still hasn't gotten over the flowers sent to Ben from Angela, and she tells Ben as much, saying that if he likes Angela, there is no way he could like her, and even threatens to self-eliminate. Ben is conflicted because he does like Amelia, and he also likes Angela, but he isn't too keen on being given an ultimatum, so despite connections being built, there are some lingering uneasiness between these two. When the women come back from their dates, Amelia breaks down and is comforted by the women as the drama with the flowers is exposed. Angela is shocked as she says she had no idea when those flowers would be delivered and she thinks the whole thing is being blown out of proportion. We then switch over to the group date of this episode, but instead of a typical setup we've seen so far, we have a special group date where the women Women invite either a family member or a close friend to have a lunch date. Each bachelor picks two women and they all head to a cosmopolitan rooftop bar. Wes chooses Brea and Lisa to go on this date and he learns more about both of them through their close friends. We learn that despite Lisa's tough exterior, she has a soft side and opens up about moving to Australia, knowing that she would be far from family back in Europe. Switching over to our lumberjack bachelor Luke, he invited both Lana and Tabitha for the lunch date, and he gets to know more about each woman. But Ben's time on this date is a little awkward to say the least. He invited both Anastasia and Madison, but instead of having a group lunch, he heads over to Madison's table and gets to know her better, leaving Anastasia pissed off that she was completely ignored. And we question whether Ben wanted to ignore Anastasia, or did he miss 
understand the format and thought that he would talk to each woman separately, we are left to ponder, but soon host Osher Gunsberg makes a surprise announcement and lets it be known that this whole time it's been a two-on-one date. And he pulls out a Voss only with three roses. So each bachelor can only keep one contestant and they have to make a decision right here, right now. This shocks everyone, but Anastasia is still upset and knows that she probably isn't going to get the rose. So she pulls Ben aside and chews him out for how she was treated and then breaks up with him. So with Anastasia self-eliminating, 15 women remain. Ben then comes back and gives his rose to Madison, telling her he was going to give her the rose anyway. The other bachelors are in a tough spot as Luke ultimately decides to give his rose to Lana, securing her another week. And Wes decides to give his rose to Brea, which means both Lisa and Tabitha are heading home. 13 women remain. And that's it for The Bachelors Australia Season 11 Episode 6. Thank you for watching Whitney Alex Works recaps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe here for more content in the future. See you soon for the next episode.